Oh my goodness, look at that. There is no shortage of uh, places to, to explore. I really like uh, this place. Let's go, let's go a little bit uh, because it's, it's, it's really, uh, it looks exciting to me. You look at all these traditional Thai uh, things. And I will let you see it for yourself as if you were here walking alongside me right here. trying to find my way to a beautiful temple called the temple of the golden Buddha and it will close in about 30 minutes I'm kind of uh, in rush right now and let's see if I can make it or not I'm almost there see I can see the golden tower I'm not sure if that's uh, it's made of gold or what we will see I still have uh, 30, uh, 30 minutes. I'm very close to the closing time right now. It's a really beautiful city. A lot of places to, uh, to explore. And this temple is on my list. Let's see, let's see where I should uh, enter. It took about uh, an hour subway ride. It's called MRT ride and, and here we go. Am I supposed to buy uh, a ticket or what because some temples are free to enter I'm not sure if this is one of them it has the world's uh, largest solid uh, gold uh, Buddha there is a sign says ticket is there so my guess is will be like ticket is required to enter It's still open to, to enter the temple. Five o'clock open. Five o'clock. And how much is the ticket? One hundred. Yep. Alright, I got the ticket. One hundred uh, baht. But now let's figure out how to where to enter because it's a really huge huge temple. And the golden Buddha says it's this way. I'm sure the statue will be beautiful because it's made of gold and it's actually the world's largest, largest solid gold Buddha. That's what I read online. Maybe this is the entrance. Where is the gold Buddha? Golden Buddha upstairs. Upstairs? Yes. Okay. Alright. Because that's the primary purpose of this visit to see the gold, the golden Buddha. And here we go. I'm a little bit in rush because they, they're gonna close soon. But it looks like I made it. You see? I'm already here. Wow, look at that. So if you're watching this video, just double check if it's actually the world's largest golden Buddha or not. 
because I read that from one of the forums but I'm not sure if it's actually correct or not but I think it's a good time to to come late to avoid the crowd because I don't see a lot of people inside There is another part of the temple and this part is free you don't need a ticket take a, take a look uh, so beautiful right there and that is the uh, the big one right there definitely you need uh, a ticket to go inside so this temple is in the in Chinatown and there is plenty of places to explore so let's see where else I should uh, I should go in this beautiful uh, part of the town of the city I should say this is definitely a city not a town it's huge Bangkok is a really huge uh, city Took me about an hour to get here from uh, from the area that is close to uh, the weekends market, and I have a video for that. You can check it out. And that is the name of this temple, Wat Thai Mit. And I don't know how to pronounce the other part of the of the name. See this another temple. I think, I think this is the uh, Chinatown. According to Google Maps, this is the beginning of Chinatown. I think. But I say let's uh, make a quick stop at this temple that I don't even know the name. And Google Map doesn't want doesn't want to show me the name of this uh, temple. But I am actually looking for a street called Yawarat or something like that. It's a major street that is full of uh, gold shops. And that will take me to another beautiful market called Samfeng Market. And this is the beginning of the uh, Yawarat market you see that is the name Yawa, Yawa I think I'm pronouncing it right Chinatown mini mart that is a, a sign that I am actually in the right direction oh, 
the uh, the only thing that I don't like so far is uh, when I try to buy uh, a pass for the subway they told me that they don't offer a day pass to get a day pass so that I don't have to worry about buying a ticket for each single uh, ride but I did see on the machine a sign for the contactless visa payments which means I might be able to actually use uh, my Apple Pay to, to pay for each ride but I have not tried that uh, option but I still prefer to get uh, a day pass as opposed to taking out my iPhone and then uh, tap it every time I go through that heavy uh, traffic uh, as you can see uh, the, uh, when you go inside the uh, train stations or subway stations or metro stations you have to be very very careful you don't want to uh, to take out your wallet or to take out your phone every time you go inside the, the turnstile machine to pay for each ride because there is a possibility of uh, losing your wallet or your credit card or your phone especially when it gets when it gets crowded somebody might uh, grab it or steal it or you know so to minimize that risk, it's better to have uh, a card, a day pass, so I don't have to touch my wallet or touch my phone when I go through that uh, crowd. You see what I'm talking about? So that's what I prefer. And I heard that the Tok Tok is actually more expensive than uh, taxi I will uh, probably try uh, one of those tuk 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 tuks to uh, to see what's uh, just just for the experience to enjoy what uh, Bangkok is uh, famous for wow this is uh, this is really it's really happening. It's this is totally different experience from what I have uh, seen in uh, Taipei, Taiwan, and also in uh, Japan. I don't remember going to the Chinatown in Japan I don't remember I don't think I filmed uh, Chinatown but if you are one of my regular viewers uh, maybe maybe you've seen some footage of Chinatown in Japan but I don't remember because I made so many videos and my memory is not that uh, it's not that good and here we go street food right there and as, it, as you can see I can barely uh, I can barely walk so many people but I will keep going until uh, the market something it's called something market I think and when I get there it will be uh, probably it's gonna be dark and it's they said it's nice at uh, night time so I think it's perfect timing to visit this area around this time look at the uh, the other uh, street right there I'm not sure what that is 
you see it looks nice to me I'm not sure if I should go there or I should uh, follow Google map I'm following Google map now wants me to go this way but I really like that uh, street maybe I can come back to it uh, later let's stick to the plan All right. I don't want to go off the, my plan Thailand is uh, a good country for uh, slow travel you know when I say slow travel I mean uh, if you visit like you stay here for one month two months you know three weeks minimum not two days not three days but my my visit this time is gonna be short for the whole Thailand that will probably be here for for three weeks only and uh, and the primary purpose of my visit to Thailand is to see if I can uh, if I like the environment or not if I do like the environment I might make it my uh, my base you know my base because uh, I'm planning to do uh, full-time uh, what they call that digital nomad but I'm not sure what the visa rules are for for extended period of stay longer than 30 days I think when I entered Thailand they give me 30 days uh, um, permission to stay I'm not sure if it's 30 days or 90 days I have a, I'm a US citizen so if you are my view one of my viewers and you visited Thailand before and you're a US citizen correct me if I'm wrong I'm wrong I got uh, 30 days uh, permission to stay or maybe I'm wrong I need to look at my stamp on my passport to see how many days they give me oh my goodness look at that there is no shortage of uh, places to to explore I really like uh, this place let's go let's go a little bit uh, because it's, it's, it's really uh, it looks exciting to me you look at all these traditional Thai uh, things I will let you see it for yourself as if you were here walking alongside me right here and to stay in Thailand is really really beautiful I mean uh, cheap too you can get a nice hotel decent hotel for 50 US dollars or even less but the hotel that I am staying at if you watch my video my first video of uh, Thailand I am staying in a nice uh, luxury hotel because I'm using um, I'm using my points my credit card points so basically it's free stay but if I were uh, to pay uh, cash I would uh, definitely look for cheaper options and there is no shortage of cheap options as far as uh, accommodations here let's go back now to the Yawarat road to get to where I am planning to go I'm really glad that I uh, I visited uh, Chinatown I was actually kind of uh, hesitant to, to come here because I was the, the original plan was to go to another night uh, nightlife uh, a street full of nightlife uh, events but I chose this area as opposed to the original plan
see the the market that I am trying to go to actually closes at 2 p.m. That's what uh, Google map tells me. I just pulled up my phone and there is a warning says it will close at 2 o'clock p.m. But uh, since I am already here, let's uh, continue. Stick to the, to the plan. Maybe there is uh, more stuff to, to see along the way. This is the market that I am trying to visit and the reason why I am going there because I am uh, following somebody itinerary, somebody on reddit forum suggested this uh, walk because I like to read the forums, reddit forums and uh, and TripAdvisor when it comes to to visiting any uh, city I like to read a little bit to see what other travelers are saying
I found myself. And this. Oh, it's too loud here. I found myself in this uh, section of the uh, city. I'm not sure if I am still in Chinatown or not, but it looks very beautiful to me. It's not part of my plan, definitely. But it's a beautiful uh, canal here. I'm not sure if it's a natural canal or man-made canal, but I will keep going down there but uh, loud music everywhere everywhere and it's really uh, it's annoying when I film in a crowded area with loud music uh, it's a nice restaurant here Hello. Oh. Just want to take a look at the I prices. You said it's nice. But it is nice. <laughs> you you work here? No. Oh, you don't work here. Oh, no, I'm I thought. Curious. Okay. Two hundred ninety nine. Okay. The average price is uh, around two hundred ninety nine. But not bad. I thought. I thought she uh, she works there. Huh? I'm really hungry. I need to grab something to eat. But when there are too many options, it's very hard to decide. And this is an Indian uh, Indian food. Hello. Just want to check uh, kebab. Yeah. And chicken. Yeah. What is this? Is Indian food? Yeah. How much is the chicken uh, is, like uh, chicken thigh? This one is 140. 140 baht. Okay. I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, that's uh that's uh looks delicious, but I am in Thailand. I don't want to try Indian food. I want to try the Thai food. Even though Indian food is really good, look at that beautiful view right here. I am rapidly getting hungry. I need to make a quick decision where to eat. What is this? Uh, mini barbecue. Bar okay, okay. Mini barbecue. Bar okay. I think I want a sit down restaurant where I can uh, sit down and relax and take a break from all these uh, walks. It's been a busy day. Hello. Uh -huh. 